I've been here with another review it up video for you. This time it will be the complete Rainbow High Series 2 collection since I now have Miss Crystal Bailey right here still in her packaging. As you can see now we have right there all of Rainbow High Series 2. I already collected everyone from River, Stella, Bella, Karma, and another. What was her name? Amaya. Why am I forgetting? I was about to say Avery, but no, we have Miss Amaya. <laughs> My apologies. And now we have to include Crystal Bailey here. Now, I'm going to be opening her up, taking a closer look, putting her in her second outfit. However, let's talk about a little bit of Miss Crystal Bailey here as to why she got a little bit of a delay and also a little bit of info of her in terms of the doll itself. Now, she was originally going to be called Jet Dawson and she had a different skin tone here. I got this photo from the Dolly News on Instagram here, which I'm going to be posting here. And from the looks of it, she looks to be, uh, she looks like she's gonna have like this, she was going to have the same skin tone if not Sunny or Skylar here. More of a close up look on that. Um, we only got that top part of her head, also a little bit. From her artwork here, it looks to be like her jacket was gonna be longer, hitting it somewhere up the upper from her skirt. And then the shoes that she was supposed to be originally wearing looks to be like the the watches um, straps. But here she still has it, but it's part of her second outfit. And it looks to be here on the back of the box. She's still wearing it. You can tell on the back of her packaging, she's originally wearing those shoes. But in her outfit that she's fully dressed in now, she has the one that has the tassel and the straps on it, which is a little, huh, a little weird as to why they did that. But nonetheless. She's still here. In terms of changes to her, I believe those were the only two changes that they had with her in terms of her outfit. Because we never got a look at her second outfit here. No, it was just that. In terms of the name change and the packaging here, if you take a closer look at it, you'll see that Crystal Bailey is actually a sticker on sticker which you can peel ever so okay I can't peel it <laughs> carefully um, however I'm just gonna pull this out as much as I can because it's a full-on sticker her name Crystal Bailey I'm trying to see if I can find the Jet, Do um, Jet Dawson name it appears to be a there's no wording underneath this. Is, is there? I can't even. He really put on the sticker on her. I'm trying to get this. Oh, I think I probably got. Ah, okay. So mine actually has some Sharpie on it, if not some black marking, because I'm completely taking off the sticker now wishing I have long nails for this um, but if you can see here very lightly you can see a little bit of the jet top font here this is the full-on um, stamp from series 2 here and then we have a little bit of the top part of the letters J, E, T, T. Everything else is completely from marker, I'm assuming. If not, it wasn't fully printed. 
because I can't even, there's, there's no more sticker to this. It's just a full on um, packaging. But yeah, in terms of why they changed her name, I completely understand why they did that because they changed her skin tone, which I am glad that they did because we already had a similar skin tone here where she was originally gonna be with other dolls. And we don't have one that's um, a darker tone. GA, listen to fans, listen to the comment section, and know, knew that now knows that we want more diversity. We want more of skin tones, more eye colors, and the full on rainbow basically. So now they got, now they came out with this with Miss Crystal. In terms of the name change from Jet Dawson to Crystal Bailey, I looked up the name Jet and it looks to be, I'm not sure they're still publishing the magazine, but it is a African American known magazine for quite some time now. And I feel as though if they would have kept the name Jet and with this doll, It'll be a little bit too, like, obvious. Like, really, you're gonna name her Jet? Like, you can't be more clear. Like, we know her skin tone, and yet you're gonna give her that type of a name. I feel as a why. That's why MGA changed the name. Um, in terms of Crystal Bailey, I know the only. <laughs> Bailey, I know, is Cynthia Bailey from the Housewives of Atlanta. Um, in terms of Crystal, though, I don't know anyone that's um, of an African American that is um, Crystal with the K. Um, but we do know Jet Dawson. Well, the name Jet was basically from this magazine, except Jet magazine was spelled with just the one T. But still, it would have been obvious like really mga but i understand completely why they decided to change the name to crystal bailey and why they added the sticker because it was a really fully in development for jet dawson but they listened to fans i'm glad that they did i'm glad that we now have this skin tone and hopefully soon they'll roll out more skin tones for everyone and also eye colors hair colors and the full-on colors really excited about that. So with that being said, let me go ahead and unbox Crystal Bailey, get her a closer look and compare her to everyone else from series two. And yeah, let me go ahead and get that started. Okay, so when you unbox Crystal, just know that at the top of her head, it's poking out from the plastic, her headband, her ears. Cause I was about to just rip her out cause this part is usually just easy to just get out. And then this part would be stuck in the packaging, I believe so. If not, it's so over the doll. However, now there's a hole in here for her ears, which I'm glad. <laughs> it's so cute. I love that little detail that they have in the packaging. Um, just a warning. Another thing that I want to point out is that in her stand, it appears to be it's a two-tone type of indigo, type of a blue-purple shade, because you can see from the holder and also from the bottom, they look the same color. However, the stand itself, it's more, this one's more blue and this one's more purple. You can see from there. Interesting. Cute note. And then from her home, it looks to be purple, just like in this color here. Yeah, I'm seeing more purple. It's like purple plastic with some blue um, glitter on it. Whereas in the stand itself, it looks just blue on blue. Not bad at it. I like it. Just no. So here I have Miss Crystal Bailey, fully out of her box, completely in love with her detail. 
softening all of this. In terms of the overall doll itself, I know that a lot of people did get a Crystal Baby doll that had pierced ears. Mine aren't pierced. Um, but I've seen in the stock images that she didn't really ha wear earrings, so I don't mind it. Um, obviously, you can just make your own holes and then she can just have earrings. But for me personally, I'm just not gonna do that since in the stock images, I think she's not meant to have earrings. Mm, but it's a cool feature. But overall, I'm glad that I'm, I'm fine with just not having pierced ears. Um, in the back of her head is a little bit somewhat of an issue since all of her hair is in these two front curls. Her hair, we could see like the top of her head, the back of it right there not really much of a personal issue to me um i'm i know probably other doll collectors might have find this will find this an issue just because there's we need more hair in the back um but for me i always have my dolls literally straight like forward i um, don't really see the back of them um so this to me also is not really much of an issue to me um, but it's just I know, just in case everybody else is gonna get a Crystal Bailey doll, this might happen to your doll. But you still get hair overall. I mean, obviously you just wash these curls out and then fill it up in the back and there you go. But I don't think I'm gonna do that for her. I'm just gonna place the little hairs that are out back in her hair and then just keep her like this just because I can't recreate curls. I looked up tutorials, I can't really do it successfully. So I'm just gonna keep her all gelled up. Um, but only these two front curls have gel and it is strong so I'm pretty sure it's gonna remain intact. Thankfully I didn't get one that was all like twisted and messed up in the box. It's completely fine here. Then the back of her hair is very soft, nice. It's just full on hair since it was in the back of plastic so pulling it out is just not really the business. So it's gonna mess up the hair a little bit. But I just want it all out and for this I can just fix it with a little water and then just have it fully fixed in the back. Now in terms of her outfit here, see that first she has painted nails, which is a very dark purple color right there, you can see. And then in terms of her top, I see a short sleeve holographic tee and then a white, um, bikini like top as well you see i'm gonna take these pieces out and show you individually but just for starters of what she's wearing and then this jacket that says sparkle on the back of her jacket there's no wording on it and then we do have these two little bows here on the sides and then this cutout around her elbows right there i love the bows they're really good looking and thankfully so yeah not bad i love the little detail here and then we have all the little buttons and the holes for the ribbons I'm trying to see if those are really full-on ribbons if not just a little detail with some hot glue and then to make it look like it's just all around ribbons on the sleeves but i'll take that out and then really get a closer look of it and then her skirt has about three zippers, no detail in the back of her skirt, and just straightforward in the front. I like her skirt, it's a little bit of like a rubbery material. Not sure how to describe it or compare it to. Um, but on the, oh, on the right side of her skirt, she has this little buckle hanging out here. I'm not sure what is this used for, maybe to like hang her wallet or something. Um, but I think it's a really cute detail too. Her shoes here have, on the right side, she has an R chain. And on the left side, she has an H chain going around. Rainbow high. And with these two, they have the tassel hanging off. And then full on, um, chain detail in the front a little bit looks like a platform heel a bit love that i love how the black silver 
and um, indigo color combo. And then let's get a closer look of the second outfit. In which for the top, we have this crop top here, all silver looking. And then we have this jacket with the stars. My favorite piece, I think overall, in terms of rainbow high dolls. So cute. I love how it's all glittery and you can get clothes on the buckle here in the front. On the bottom, we have these uh, black leggings, um, netting, fish nets. And it's fully through, it's gonna go up to her foot, covering her foot. And then her pants here, with the two cutouts and zippers. Two back pockets there, and two front pockets. And her shoes, her sec, I can't decide on which shoes are my favorite though. I think these might be my favorite just cause the clock itself on the watches, on the watch wraps, have detail on it. They're saying there's two watches for straps. And if you can see, a little bit difficult to see, but you can tell the time. Like I thought it was just gonna be full on um, gray on this part of the shoe, but no, it's a watch. And it looks like they're telling the same time, which is like 11, 11. Oh, is it 11, 11? No, it's like, it looks to be like 10, 11 or something. But it's a cute detail, the same color with indigo, silver and black. Then we have her hair comb here, the same color with her stand from the top part, from the top holding her and also the bottom part. And then her hangers here are just full on purple. Ish. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and change her to her second outfit. Be right back. Okay, so I spent about 20, 25 minutes changing Crystal to her second outfit, and I have to say it has been pretty difficult. Um, the jacket buckle, I can't properly close it. I had to get rid of about two or three of these little, ooh, two or three of the little studs. Yeah, I got rid of three studs that were on the strap of her jacket just to remove it from the big buckle itself. Yes, I could super glue it back on or something like that. Um, but just to do that in order to properly get her in it, it's just annoying. Um, I'm not sure anybody else has done that as well in terms of when they got the crystal doll. Um, that's the best way I found to undo the buckle here. Um, it's just to get rid of those three studs. But to put it back on to close it, I mean, I'm trying to get this strap in it, but the strap here is a little bit thicker to put it back on. So I'm just gonna have to take my time. But for now, she's fully dressed in her second outfit here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, the top that she was wearing from her first outfit, which is this see-through holographic a short sleeve and then this um, whole strap shirt top that is um, very holographic um, fabric, whereas this one is see-through. And then also from her headband, her bunny ears are removable, which Thank God, because these bunny ears to me are a little bit kiddish. So to me, um, I'd rather just um, remove that part and just keep her like this in her headband. It is a little bit noticeable from afar that there's something missing here. I wish you could have just painted on like a chain um, thing here to make it look complete at least. Um, but you can just do that on your own, I guess. Um, overall for Crystal, I'm on the second outfit. I mean, it does look good. I do like this outfit better than the first for me. The jacket was my favorite part. 
However, just putting it on back on together is gonna be a little bit difficult, but I'm gonna keep trying um, later on. Um, in terms of it looking now, I wanna see how it looks close, but I can't do it today. <laughs> um, but in terms of how it is here, I like it, I love it. I love this outfit better than the first to me personally. Uh, and then the headband without the ears to me is cute. Uh, even without the headband on her, I like that she came with this. So I'm just gonna keep it on, just not have the bunny ears to make it look more complete. But yeah, even the netting here on the legs was a little bit difficult to put on just because it doesn't really give you a, um, a look in terms of from which side to put it on. And also because the netting and the shoe, they're easily can break. So I was kind of twisting it around to fully put in as well as removing the shoe. You have to twist it around the foot to get it properly out. You can't just slide it out. It was just too much. Oh, it was too hard, but I'm glad um, she looks good. <laughs> In the end, if it looks good, then it's all worth it to me. There. Okay, so I have all of my Series 2 Rainbow High Dolls here. I'm going to just be ranking them from most favorite to least. From most to least would be my list here. Um, not technically really much of a hate. I don't hate any of these dolls. I just don't like them as much. That's just the thing, I just don't like them. So from number six, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with Stella Monroe here. I dressed her in her second outfit, just removing that white short sleeve top that she had in the second outfit. Ooh, girl. And then I kept her in her first outfit, shoes and coat. I just removed the socks from the first outfit and then kept the rubber bands on because these heels are a little bit loose so just to keep it on intact and then the coat's my favorite part of her in terms of why she's my least favorite um i'm not really a big fan of the hair i know she's a hairstylist um if you were a hairstylist i would have liked for her to have been part of the play set of the hair salon personally speaking um but i still love her overall i do love her mole and her makeup of the pink well, of the fuchsia color type she's rocking. Um, and then also of her second outfit skirt, which is still my favorite from her original outfit. Um, it still has a little bit holes just from packaging. Um, but I still like it overall. Um, that's why I have her in this. Um, but she'll be my sixth favorite Rainbow High Series 2 doll. In terms of my fifth favorite, I'm gonna go ahead and have to say Miss Amaya Rain due to one major thing, the hair. I'm still not much of a big fan of her hair. I didn't wash it, like I said in my last video, uh, Rainbow High Dolls, just because I am i don't know if I'm gonna recreate the curls again. Um, so I just kept it in this. I'm out of packaging, um, I, just had, I just had to understand, and it came a little bit more loose, I believe. Um, but these two front curls are very crunchy, still intact in the curls, so you know what, I'm just gonna keep her like this. Um, I love this outfit, it's my favorite full-on outfit from um, the Rainbow High Girl so far, especially from the bottom and these details, different colors. Um, I just love the black and, um, every color of the rainbow effect that is going on in this ensemble. Yeah, and this black socks are living it. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm living for this. I don't even know what words to put to describe this whole ensemble, but it's my complete favorite. And the makeup and the face look is not technically my favorite. Um, the hair, obviously color is not it. I would have wished it was all white part on the top and then do the coloring on the whole bottom half, if not the bottom, literally bottom half of the hair just like in her first Amaya doll that we got along with the with her own long hair with the white hair I would have liked for her to have that look on um and this length and go ahead and do the curls but I would have liked that color instead of this whole color scheme that we picked that'll be my fifth favorite 
Uh, my fourth favorite here, I'm gonna go ahead and choose Miss Karma Nichols. Here is my fourth favorite out of the six. Um, in terms of why I chose her as my fourth, I still love her. Uh, my favorite feature of her is her brown eyes, just because I have brown eyes. Not in this type of color of brown, but nonetheless to see a rainbow high girl with brown eyes is just overall beautiful. Amazing to me. And I love the fact that she has straight hair. It's so easy to do looks of, to brush. I love just brushing along my doll's hair. However, they have curls, I'm just gonna keep it intact. But this here, I can just brush all day and just keep it together and easy to maintain. I kept her in her second outfit, but I just put her first outfit shoes on just cause the second outfit shoes, that I just found them boring. Um, but these here I do love, so I kept this all together. My favorite part of the outfit would have to be her jacket since it's like netting. Love that detail of the RHs. So yeah, our favorite here. In terms of third place top three, I'm gonna go ahead and say Miss Crystal Bailey because the outfit was difficult to remove and to put on. Well, I haven't removed this outfit yet, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be difficult to remove. Because in terms of comparing this to her first outfit, I do love this one overall, but it was just so difficult to put on. And the jacket, I love the jacket, but I had to remove those studs, which I hated to do, but I wanted this to be out, to put her in. Uh, in terms of closing it, I know I'm gonna have a difficult time doing that, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it just because I prefer it to be closed. Um, but I think just because the material that they chose for this is difficult to open and close, but um, it still is my favorite piece. Overall, not so much anymore, just because now I know how it works. Um, but it's still my favorite overall piece that she came with, even though I had to remove the studs. But yeah, we have Miss Crystal Bailey's number three. Still love you. In terms of... Ooh, my second favorite, Miss Bella Parker here, which she is my overall favorite girl doll of series two. And in terms of why, I mean, let me just give you a closer look of her, at her, and there's your answer. <laughs> I love her in the series. I love that. I'm not gonna spoil anything for you. I'm gonna go ahead and watch the web series on their YouTube channel. Um, but I just love her overall character. Um, I love her look, obviously. Still giving me Chanel and also Chanel Overland, Overland by, vibes going on. Her headband is my favorite piece of her as well as this overall ensemble. Um, in terms of one specific, specific piece, I don't know. I think her leggings. The RHS and the netting on this is just beautiful. It's just beautiful. I have to say, I still love her first outfit, yes, but I chose this one to keep her in her second outfit full on through. It's just my favorite. Favorite, favorite. But my number one favorite Rainbow High Series 2 doll is the one and only River Kendall. I mean, he's just so cute. Just look at him. Look at him. He's so cute. Yes, we had doubts on terms of what he was going to come out as ever since the stock images has been released, um, especially with the eyelashes. I honestly don't mind it. I love them. They're not that long. Yes, they're like the same length as the girl dolls, but I still love it overall. He's just so cute. I think he's my favorite boy doll in general. Um, Ken. River. <laughs> River Kendall. Um, I love his outfit. I kept him in his first original outfit, which is a thing of first for me. Um, because I don't think anybody else is wearing their first outfit. Um, yeah. um for the other girls, I'm going to do another separate video of, of series one, collection one, um, for them in a later on video, but... 
In terms of keeping them in their outfits, yeah, I think I mix and match. This is the first one where I kept um, the doll in its original outfit. I just love this overall, the layering, the color scheme, um, the shoes, I believe are my favorite. If not, um, his Letterman jacket is just so cute with the rainbow in the back of it. I mean, come on. Who doesn't love River? I love River. He's my favorite doll. Um, boy doll. <laughs> we only got one boy doll, but obviously he's my favorite thus far. Can't wait to see more rainbow rain boy dolls in the future. But yeah, you guys, that has, this is my overall um, series two um, little mini review ranking rating and as well as a review of Miss Crystal Bailey. I still recommend getting her definitely if you wanted to start your collection if not just having just one doll or for sure adding her to her collection I would say a must have for sure. Um, I hope you have better luck in terms of getting her into her outfit as I did um, but I still love her overall. Look at this hot glue with the, the studs in it. I mean come on. Not a, much of a big deal, but I still love her. I love the skin tone. I love the makeup look, the headband, the hair. Um, I'm just living for Miss Kristen. I'm finally glad to add her to the collection. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys check out the other videos that I have on the Celebrity Dance channel. Thank you guys for watching. See ya.